Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will explain you about AWS Data Pipeline, which we are using in AWS services. So let's see, as in the end of this session, I will give you a basic concept of AWS Data Pipeline, how we can use it, and I will show you by creating an example how we can create inside our login credential and finally I will provide the future and their advantage of using AWS data pipeline so if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with AWS data pipelines so the name itself suggests it will work with the data scheduling the task and activating your activity without manual interactions. If you schedule any activity, that activity will be automatically triggered when the time or exact time matches with the system. So AWS Data Pipeline is a web service designed to make it easier for user to integrate data spread across multiple AWS services and analyze it from a single location so if you are sitting at london and you want to use the different services from different location you can definitely go ahead and use it according to your requirement and aws is a very good facility provided so whatever you are using that much only the charges will be applicable for your account for your instance using aws data pipeline Data can be accessed from the source processed and then the results can be efficiently transferred to the respective AWS services. So AWS Data Pipeline helps us to in move, integrate and process data across AWS compute and storage resource as well as on premises resources. AWS Data Pipeline is a service which will trigger automatically when the time comes. So process move between data and different AWS compute and social services as well as on premises as I already said. AWS data pipeline can you regularly access your data where it stored, transform and process it at scale and efficiently transfer the results to AWS services such as Amazon S3, Amazon RDS, Amazon DynamoDB and Amazon EMR. AWS Data Pipeline helps us to easily create complex data processing workloads that are fault tolerant, repeatable and highly available. We don't have to worry about the ensuring resources availability, managing inter-task dependency, retrying transient failures or timeouts in individual tasks or creating a failure notification system. AWS Data Pipeline also allows us to move and process data that was previously logged up in on-premises data silos. So let's see how we can create it. So once you will go to services and type data pipeline, you will able to see this. It's already written here orchestration or data driven workflow. So it's just like work as an orchestrator, whenever times come, it will trigger or start your activity, whatever you have assigned. So click on get started, provide the create pipeline details, just like test. Test, choose source of data or where you want to create it. So it's totally up to you if you want to create in load S3 data in RDS or load data from S3, full copy of RDS, MySQL. So that will trigger automatically. Let me click on this. So you have to provide your uh, other detail. Run job on elastic map, a reduced cluster, EC2 instances required or these details you have to fill up according to your requirement. You can also add up the key. So if you want to activate, it will Activate automatically after entering all the details. Just like EC2 key pair is optional, but you can add it for your security reason as well. 
then running so run every one day if you want to run this activity on monthly basis or hourly basis on minutes you can select it according to your requirement so on pipeline activation if you can select it at any point but you can provide the time uh, time stamp as well or when or which time location it will trigger automatically select the date and the time stamp definitely ending server on which server it will end occurrence once you can increase it definitely provide the s3 location or logs detail if it will fail anything it will store the logs detail in this location so run every if you want to run it for every hour provide one and select and uh, if you want to run 24 times in a day then mention it 24 year so after setting all the configuration when you click on the activate it will activate for you and you can use it according to your requirement i'm not going further you can go ahead based on your requirement i'm canceling the activity so once it is created you can delete it at any point of time so by mistake if you have created two or three scheduler or just like see that for the business requirement if you have created orchestration three three orchestration and you want to delete it one because that activity is completed select that uh, select that orchestration process and delete it so it will de deactivate for you so this is how we'll create it and activate and deactivate it or delete it so let's see the advantage or feature of using this facility aws data pipeline is having simple and cost efficient its drag and drop feature make it easy to create a pipeline on console it's Visual Pipeline Creator provides a library of pipeline templates. These templates make it easier to create pipeline for tasks like processing log files, archiving data to Amazon S3. So as at the time of creation, I've already showed you, you can mention the location on which location you want to show it. If any orchestration will fail, it will provide you the log detail or any other detail required for troubleshooting. Definitely it is reliable, so its infrastructure is designed for fault tolerant execution activity. If failures occurs in the activity logic or data sources, then AWS data pipeline automatically retries the activity. If the failure continues, then it will send a failure notification on your registered email ID or number. Then we can See the configure this notification alert for situation like successful run, failures, delays, and activities, etc. Third is flexible. AWS Data Pipeline provides various features like scheduling, tracking, error handling, etc. It can be configured to pick actions like run Amazon EMR jobs, execute SQL queries directly as against database, execute customer application running on Amazon EC2, etc. For this transparent, we have full control over the computational resources that execute our business logic, making it easy to enhance or debug our logic additionally. Full execution logs are automatically delivered to Amazon S3, giving you a persistent detailed record of what has happened in our pipeline. So this is all about AWS Data Pipeline. Let's recap this. We have started about with AWS Data Pipeline basic concept. Let's look on one example. After that, we have created visually inside our AWS login credential. I have already explained how we can delete it if it is not required or you can deactivate it according to your requirement. Then finally, I explain about the feature and advantage part. So this is all about AWS Data Pipeline. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video or got to know interesting thing, definitely you can share with your friend circle and consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates. Thank you for watching.